Good morning, my name is Amber and we're here at the Albuquerque Biopark Elephant House. Right behind me here is Rosie. She is our pregnant female elephant and today we are doing a blood draw so we can have a sample tested by Tricor Reference Labs. We test Rosie's progesterone daily during this part of her pregnancy because we are so close. We're in what's called the birth window. I'm gonna take Rosie and lean her body in so it's parallel to the bars. I'm gonna ask her for her ear. She's gonna flip it out. I'm gonna heat it up with some warm water so it gets the blood to the surface. And then my coworker, Deborah here, is gonna actually draw her blood. Back up. Good. Oh, <laughs> that's a good ear. Good girl. Deborah, I think she's ready. We draw blood from an elephant's ear veins because it's easy access and it's close to the surface. There you go, Roser. Good girl. We're going into the clinic, to the lab, to put the blood in the centrifuge. So that'll spin for five minutes. For the most part, the elephant staff works elephants all day long. And it's, it's not really a job if you love what you're doing, which I do. And this is ready. So this is what it looks like after it's been spun. So this is the serum. That's what I'm going to send. I'm going to drop two cc's. The two cc's are in there. Zip it up nice and tight. Set it on ice. Tricord to pick up and we take it up to the front. Good morning. It's amazing to be able to get the, the turnaround as quickly as we do to have it local. To have them feel that they're a part of this is huge because this isn't just our baby, this is all of Albuquerque's baby elephant. And this allows them to be involved with the process. As I said, we're checking her progesterone daily. When that progesterone drops, then we know that the baby's going to be coming soon. And it's in. Hi, my name is Eric from Tricor Reference Laboratories. And today we're going to walk through the lab and watch Rosie's specimens go through. You will get a chance to talk with one of our tech specialists, Barbara, who will explain the technology used. The courier drops the specimen off in specimen management. They order it in the laboratory computer and then they label it. Thank you. Then they bring it to our front end of chemistry. They evaluate them for specimen integrity and put them on the loaders. And as you can see, the robot arm picks up the specimen, reads the barcode. The loader then puts the specimen on the track. It goes the length of the track to whichever instrument it's been assigned. In this case, Rosie is getting a progesterone, and those take about 15 minutes to run. We're just very excited that we can help let the zookeepers know when Rosie will be close to delivering. So the mission of Tricor is to serve the health and well-being of New Mexico residents, and we do so by supporting the medical community with the laboratory information. But part of the health and well-being of a community is actually the zoos, the parks, and the community as a whole. And so for that, Tricor has been a long-term partner with the zoo to help enhance the community and provide those other very important services to New Mexico residents. And besides, Rosie's a resident as well. 